With the love of our Lord Jesus Christ, you are welcome to the New Heart Christian Ministries, a Bible-believing Christian family church, where we pray, sing, worship, express love, fellowship, discuss scripture and where we are constantly experiencing the diverse manifestations of the Holy Spirit. just want to bless your holy name tonight we worship you we give you all the honor we give you all the glory we bless your holy name lord we thank you for who you are thank you for being so good unto us thank you for not leaving us thank you for not forsaking us thank you for fighting our battles thank you oh lord for frustrating every walk of darkness over us over our life over this ministry we are so grateful unto you even to come into your presence tonight to worship you to bless your holy name, to pray unto you, O Lord. Father, accept our thanks, even in the powerful name of Jesus. Amen. Holy Spirit of the living God, we commit this section of praise and worship into your hand. Glorify your holy name like never before in Jesus' name. Amen. Have your way. You are the spirit of truth. Glorify your holy name. Amen. Touch us like never before and heal every area of our lives, even Amen. in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you, Holy Spirit of the living God. Thank you, Lord Father. In Jesus' mighty name, I pray. Amen. There is power. There is power. There is power in the blood of Jesus. There is power. There is power. There is power in the blood of Jesus. There is healing. There is healing, there is healing in the blood of Jesus. There is deliverance, there is deliverance, there is deliverance in the blood of Jesus. There is safety, there is safety, there is safety in the blood of Jesus. There is power, there is power, there is power in the blood of Jesus, hallelujah, there is power in the blood of Jesus, there is healing, there is deliverance, there is safety in the blood of Jesus Christ, Holy Spirit of the living God, we welcome you, we welcome you into our midst, come and have your way even in the name of Jesus, thank you Lord, hallelujah, thank you Jesus, we worship you Lord. Will you be ready when the Lord shall come? Will you be ready when the Lord shall come? I, I will be ready. I will be ready. I will be ready when the Lord shall come. Yeah. I will be ready. I will be ready. I will be ready when the Lord shall come. Will you be ready when the Lord shall come? Will you be ready when the Lord shall come? Hey, I will be ready. Oh yeah, I will be ready. Hey, I will be ready when the Lord shall come. Oh yeah, I will be ready, ready. I will be ready. I will be ready when the Lord shall come. There is power. Power, wonder working power in the blood of the land. There is power, there is power, power, wonder working power in the precious blood of the land. There is power, there is power, power, wonder working power in the blood, in the blood of the land of the land. There is power, power. Wonder working power in the precious blood of the Lamb. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, Satan, you have to flee. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, Satan, you have to buy. Sing it now. In the name of Jesus, 
In the name of Jesus, Satan, you have to flee. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, Satan, you have to bow. By force, by fire, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, Satan, you have to in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, Satan, you have to bow. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, Satan, you have to flee. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, Satan, you have to bow. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Praise God. Father. Satan, you have to bow. Satan, you have to bow. In the mighty name of Jesus, I command you to bow tonight in the name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus, I command you to bow tonight right now. In the powerful name of Jesus, every knee shall bow and every tongue shall confess that Jesus Christ is Lord over our lives, over our situation, over this ministry by the power in the blood of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Father. Thank Children you, Holy Spirit. We just Lord. worship you, Lord. Brethren, tonight, in the name of Jesus, let's begin to welcome um, welcome you into the presence of God. Please agree with me to commit this prayer meeting into the hand of God. Holy Spirit, we welcome you. Have your way. Take control like never before. We come against, we bind, we cast out every negative powers against, against this program of tonight. We destroy them. We destroy them. We cancel them by the power in the blood of Jesus. Amen. We declare the program of tonight open in the name of God the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Ghost, even in Jesus' name. Thank you, Lord. Father, Lord, we thank you, Lord. Jehovah God, we honor you, Lord. We thank you, Lord, for another day like this. We give you all the glory. We give you honor. We give you all the glory. We give you honor. We give you all the glory. We give you honor. We give you all the glory. We give you honor. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. We give you all the glory. We give you honor. We give you all the glory. thank God. Let us give him all adoration. You, Let us tell him he's a good God. You, Let us tell him he's a merciful you. God. Thank you, Lord. Let us tell him that he's a thank father you, of Lord. all fathers, God of all gods. Let us thank him for his good and his mercy is endured forever. He is God of Abraham, God of Isaac, and God of Jacob. He is our God that anything he says comes to pass. Is the way maker. We thank you, Lord. Miracle worker. We thank you, Lord. Promise keeper. We thank you, Lord. Light in the darkness. We thank you, Lord. That is who you are, Almighty God. Ancient of days, rock of ages. Father, Lord, we thank you, Lord. For every day, we thank you. For what you have done, we thank you. For what you are doing, Father, we thank you. And for what you are yet to do, Father, we thank you. For looking after us, Father, we thank you. For blessing us with heavenly blessings, we thank you. The book of Lamentations, chapter 3, verse 22 to 23, speaks of your love and your goodness. It says, the steadfast love of you, Lord, never ceases, and your mercies never come to an end. Because they are new every morning, and great is your faithfulness. It is your love, Father. It is your love, Father, our Father, our Creator, that have been looking after us. We thank you, Lord Father. The book of Psalms, chapter 24, verses 1 to 8, says that 
if I had not, it had not been the Lord who was on our side. Now, may Israel say, if it had not been the Lord who was on our side, when men rose up against us, then they had swallowed us up quick. Then their wrath was kindled against us. Then the waters had overwhelmed us. The stream had gone over our soul. Then the proud waters had gone over our soul. Blessed be the Lord who hath not given us as a prey to their feet. Our soul is escaped as a bird out of the snare of the fowlers. The snare is broken and we are escaped. Our help is in the name of the Lord who made the heaven and the earth. It is by your grace and mercy that we see each day. We thank you, Lord Father. We give you all the glory. We give you all the we give you all the glory. We give you all, we give you, we give you all the glory. We give you honor. We give you all the glory. We give you honor. The book of Psalm, chapter 34, verse 10 says that the lions may grow weak and hungry. But those who seek the Lord lack no good thing. That is why we have come to seek your face each day and you have been looking down towards us from heaven and have been making your mercies available to us. Father, Lord, we thank you, Lord. Accept our thanks in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, we thank you, Lord. Jehovah, God will bless you, Lord. In every situation, Father, we thank you, Lord. For the bread of life, Father, we thank you, Lord. For your grace upon our life, Father, we thank you, Lord. Jehovah God, for everything you have provided for us, Father, we thank you, Lord. Almighty God, we honor you, Lord. Ancient of days, we thank you, Lord. I am the end, we thank you, Lord. The beginning, the ending, the alpha, the omega, we thank you, Lord. The one that was, the one that is, the one that will ever be, O God, we thank you, Lord. Jehovah Jireh, we thank you, Lord. Jehovah Nisi, we thank you, Lord. Jehovah Sidekenu, we thank you, Lord. Jehovah Rohi, we thank you, Lord. Jehovah Raha, we thank you, Lord. Jehovah Elohim, the Almighty God who created the heavens and the earth, we thank you, Lord. The one that reigned from eternity to eternity and from everlasting to everlasting, we thank you, Lord. Almighty God, we bless you, Lord. Almighty God, we honor you, Lord. Ancient of days, we thank you, Lord. The beginning, the ending, the Alpha, the Omega, we thank you, Lord. Jehovah God, we bless you, Lord. Jehovah God, we bless you, Lord. Almighty God, we honor you, Lord. Father, Lord Jehovah God Almighty, today we have come to thank you as we do every day. Accept our thanks in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, Lord, let all our heartfelt supplications and gratitude today come before you like a sweet aroma and be granted favor in Jesus' name. O Lord Jehovah God Almighty, Father, we bless you, Lord. Thanks for answered prayers. In the name of Jesus Christ, we have prayed. Amen. Praise God. Praise Jesus. In the book of Ruth, in the book of Ruth, we read um, about the woman um, whose name was Naomi. We know from the book of Ruth, chapter 1, um, verses uh, 1 to 2, that when Naomi was leaving the land of Judah due to famine in the land of Judah at that time, she left with her husband, Elimelech, and her two sons, Malon and Kilion. Okay, there are things of joy for Naomi. She must have been very happy. She was married and she had two sons. She was happy when she was leaving the land of Judah. <coughs> Excuse me. Then death struck. And Naomi's husband was taken away by the hands of death, leaving her with her two sons. So at the stage, the two sons married. Marlon married a woman called Ruth. And Kilion married Opa. Okay? They had no children. Not long, death struck again and the two sons of Naomi died. Only God knows what could have been going on in the mind of Naomi at that time. You left your country because there was an issue and hope for a better life in another country. But when you go there with all you've got, you lost them eventually. The Bible does not say how Naomi felt about that situation. But what we know that you can't be in that situation and be normal. It's not easy. Things like this cause depression. It creates a vacuum in one's life. A vacuum that never, never be filled. 
We take things differently. Some people crashed and never recovered. I remember a celebrity who lost her husband years ago. She never recovered and eventually took her life. We are going to pray this evening for those who are depressed, whatever the cause or the reasons in this situation. My auntie lost her son years ago, a good boy. But any time I visited home, this my hand will be talking as if the boy was still living. Depression has hit her and taunt her to be something else. Anything can cause anyone to be depressed. Health issues, bereavement, loss of job or means of livelihood, fruitfulness, a member of the family misbehaving, court case, financial issues, marital issues like divorce or your spouse work, worked out on you or you are jilted, being homeless and so on. Any sort of sadness situation can create depression. Some depression has led some people to be suicidal. Some has resorted to a changed person from what they used to be. Sometimes, some people, it is because there is no one around to help. Don't, don't allow the depression to hit you too much. Don't ever give in to depression. If you're in that situation and you're under my voice this morning, Nehemiah chapter 8 verse 10 says, The joy of the Lord is your strength. Please speak with someone immediately, and if you know of anyone in that situation, Ask the person to talk to someone and you can stand in gap for that person in this prayer session this evening in the name of Jesus Christ. You can talk to us as well. Praise God. In various countries around the world, there are some organizations who are always there for people having depression. In UK, there's Good Samaritans. You can call them on 116-123. You don't have to deal with this on your own. Praise God. We were on our evangelism trip one day when a woman came to me and began talking about her late dad. She was still mourning for him, despite the, the fact that that man has died a long time. Every life loss is a tragedy. Please don't give in to depression. We are going to pray. God can bring peace to your life. God can replace what is missing. I mean, the, the person that died may not be able to come back. But God can give you peace of mind. God can give you hope. Job went through one stage when he lost everything he has got and worked for. And so Naomi, those children of Israel who were taken to exile never believed they could come back home. That is why the book of Psalms chapter 126 verse 1 says that when the Lord brought back the captives of Zion that brought them back to Jerusalem, we were like those who dream. That to be your case in the name of Jesus Christ. If you're in this situation and under my voice this morning, we have to pray. We have to pray. Thank you, Lord. Father, Lord, who makes a way where there seems to be no way. Grant peace of mind to all your children who are having one kind of situation in their life in the name of Jesus Christ. Anything that is not making them happy, Jehovah God Almighty, Lord, Father, grant them peace of mind in the name of Jesus. Father, Lord, remember them. The Bible says in your presence there is fullness of joy. Bring this fullness of joy into their lives in the name of Jesus. Wipe away every tears, Lord. Fill every heart that is hurting with your balm of Gilead. Let those crying cry no more and let every hope be restored in the name of Jesus. Those widows, widowers, orphans, and those that are bereaved in one way or the other, O oh Lord, bring them an everlasting joy in the name of Jesus. Let those who are hoping in you be filled with joy in Jesus' name. O oh Lord, let all who take refuge in, your, in you rejoice. Let them ever sing for joy and spread your protection over them, that those who love your name may exalt in you. Give them the grace to come and testify to your goodness in front of the people in the name of Jesus. Thank to you, Lord. In the name of Jesus Christ, we have prayed. Those people who are crying to you, you know where the shoes are hurting them. You know why they are crying unto you. You know why they are not happy. You know why they are sad. You know why they are looking unto you every day. Jehovah God Almighty, oh Lord. Father, answer them speedily in the name of Jesus. Bring their answers to pass in the name of Jesus, Lord. Every request they are tabling before you, oh Lord, Jehovah God, grant them approval in the name of Jesus Christ. Jehovah God Almighty, bring all their expectation to pass in the name of Jesus. Father Lord, Father Lord, Father Lord, remember them in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jehovah God Almighty. In the name of Jesus Christ, we have prayed. Amen. 
The Lord is your strength, my brothers and sisters. The Lord will bring all your expectations to pass in Jesus' name. Weeping may endure for a night, but you come in the morning. Your joy is now in Jesus' name. The peace of God will transcend all understanding will visit you in the name of Jesus Christ. The peace of God will be upon you in the name of Jesus Christ. Almighty God will start to carry you along in the name of Jesus. The Spirit of God will start to carry you along in the name of Jesus. All the sadness in your life will start to disappear in the name of Jesus. Whatever you are crying upon, God knows it better than we do. Almighty God will fulfill your heart desires in the name of Jesus Christ. You will not cry anymore in the name of Jesus. You will not weep anymore in the name of Jesus. Your joy will be full in the name of Jesus. Only God knows. Because sometimes there are some things we have in our life that we cannot discuss with friends. That we cannot discuss with families. But God knows better. And he's going to do it for you in the name of Jesus Christ, the Lord. The, the expectation of the righteous shall not be cut off. Your expectation shall not be cut off in the name of Jesus. If what you are going through has been planted by the enemies, I uproot them right now in the name of Jesus. The tree that God has not planted in your life shall be uprooted in the name of Jesus. The hands of evil that stretch towards you shall be withered out in the name of Jesus. Every evil eye that has spined against you shall go blind in the name of Jesus. All those evil legs that are running after you shall break down in the name of Jesus Christ. O oh Lord Jehovah God Almighty will remember you. Almighty God will fulfill your heart desires in the name of Jesus Christ. I commit you into the hands of God. Today's prayer is a special prayer for those people who are depressed. For those people who are sad. So for those people who are looking unto God for joy. And the thought could be anything. The this, 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 this thought could be anything. Some people have been going through difficult time for a very long time now. They have been having problems. They have been having issues. They have been going from one sickness to the other. I shared sometimes ago and I said, um, that was a boy that during our crossover night, he came out and said he was thanking God for because that particular year was the year that he has never visited the doctor. So, which means every year, all the time, he has been visiting doctors. But that particular year, God restored his, 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 his good health back to him. And he never visited a doctor that particular year. We don't know what people are going through. You just meet people across the road. I could remember one day, about a few days ago, when I asked a lady, I, I just saw her looking around at someone who got lost. And I said, Madam, are you okay? Can I help? He said, and she said to me that, uh, I'm sorry, uh, I, I, I'm going to somewhere, but I'm lost. I don't know where I am. And she started to cry. I said, uh, for, for, for no, no, you are, you, you are in the middle of people here. And because you don't know where you are, you, you, are, in, you are in London. And he said, she was, she was just crying. And I said, uh, she was a very emotional. And I said, see me see trouble. I said, okay, where are you going? And she told me. And I said, well, this is how you are going to get there. And then she just then started laughing. You know, some people, you don't know what could make some people emotional. You don't know what could make people cry. Something that you think is simple may not be simple to other people. Praise God. Like the celebrity I mentioned, she turned her bedroom to the shrine for that man when she lost that man. I don't know what actually went wrong. She eventually took her life. Some people can't take depression just like that. So we remember them in our prayer today. Whatever you are going through, God knows better than we do. Karabakaya. The Almighty God will restore peace to your life in the name of Jesus Christ. The Almighty God will visit you and your family in the name of Jesus Christ. Praise God. We thank everyone for joining us this evening for this particular program. And I believe so much that we prayed for everyone. Don't worry about, oh, they didn't mention my case. God knows your case and he could see your mind. And it's actually touching that particular case right now. Praise God. God will favor you in all areas of your life. Whether you have been looking for a job and you are going for an interview, God will favor you before those people are going to interview you in the name of Jesus. If you are having a court case, Jehovah God will favor you before the judge in the name of Jesus Christ. Almighty God sees your heart. He knows what you are going through. He knows the name for every single hair on your head. And the Almighty God will touch your life in the name of Jesus and bring your expectation to pass. In the name of Jesus Christ, I have prayed. Amen. 
The Bible said, decree and shall be established. I've decreed this, uh, this evening, and so it shall be established in the name of Jesus Christ, O oh Lord. We thank everyone for joining us this evening. We thank you, O Lord, for all your support on this program. We thank you, Lord, for every time you've been coming on this program to join us. Just to remind you, we have all these uh, program on YouTube. You can just go to YouTube and search for New Heart Christian Ministries. Okay? Our own is New Heart Christian Ministries. If you search, you are going to see all our past videos that we are doing so, and you can subscribe. Anytime we post a new video, you can actually be notified. Praise God. So we are back again on Sunday at 10 o'clock in the morning for our Sunday service. Uh, to that time when we come your way again, please stay blessed. Praise God. With the love of our Lord Jesus Christ, you are welcome to the New Heart Christian Ministries, a Bible-believing Christian family church where we pray, sing, worship, express love, fellowship, discuss scripture and where we are constantly experiencing the diverse manifestations of the Holy Spirit.